Hey YouTube, Film Geek here. Today I'm talking about the 1996 film, Black Mask. Black Mask is directed by Daniel Lee and starring Jet Li as the Black Mask. So the story of Black Mask goes like this. A survivor of a super soldier project must fight his former comrades as a masked superhero. Black Mask was released in Hong Kong in 1996, then was redubbed and re-released in the United States in 1999. The movie had a decent run in Hong Kong, grossing about $13 million. The same could be said for the United States. The theatrical run was about the same, grossing just a little over $12 million. The movie wasn't necessarily a massive flop or anything, and it did spawn a sequel. Now, I haven't seen the sequel, but there is one out there. It came out in 2002, Black Mask 2, I believe. I don't think it has any other title. Um, and yeah, it came out in 2002. Haven't seen it, couldn't tell you much about it. Now, Black Mask is a high-octane, highly bloody superhero film. This is the kind of movie that I feel that if you're a fan of Deadpool, you're gonna like this movie a lot. Not that it's like quirky humor or anything, it's just got a lot of blood and guts, and it's got a superhero in it. So the movie has tons of action, and if you're a gore hound, this is gonna be just up your alley. Tons of blood and guts, lots of limbs being hacked off. I mean, seriously, you like the gory stuff, this movie is your jam. So what are my feelings on this movie? Okay, first off, this is just pure action. There is not a lot of story here. You watch this movie to watch limbs get hacked off and heads get blown off. That's the only reason you watch this movie. This thing has a very, very paper thin story. There's not a lot to this. This is definitely just one of those, I have to rise up to be a superhero and save the city from these bad guys. So with this being about guys who are super powered and all, definitely a wired martial arts film. So it's gonna be some of that over the tops flying around that you can come to expect from a wired Hong Kong film. Now, that does bring up one issue with this movie, and that is high definition has not been common. I have this movie on Blu-ray, and let me tell you, those wires, you see them every so often. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It takes you out of the movie just, just a little bit. It really reminds you that you're watching a movie when all of a sudden you notice that there's wires attached to Jet Li but it goes away, and so don't, don't judge the movie on that fact. Remember, this was made before the whole idea that high definition was ever gonna be a thing, so I'm sure the movie makers thought that they hit those wires just fine. And that honestly is my biggest complaint, and it's not even a huge complaint because it kinda makes the movie fun. I mean, I don't know, turn it into a drinking game. Uh, take a shot every time uh, you see the wires. One of the things I did say about this movie too was, it is gory. I mean, straight up gory. It is a blood fest. This is one of those Hong Kong cinema films where like a paper cut makes blood go gushing out like a fountain. So if you like lots of blood and you like watching hands and heads and all sorts of stuff get chopped up into tiny little pieces, then yep, this movie's gonna be for you. So really at the end of the day, this movie doesn't bring a whole lot to the table when it comes to plot, character development, or anything of that sort. What it does bring to the table is a really good time and a lot of fun. This is definitely a movie that you're going to want to watch with your friends or someone else so you can all do the same thing and go, oh, at the same time. Because I know it's more fun to do that with a group than doing it by yourself. I mean, when I watch this movie by myself, I sit in here and I look like a moron. Like if someone filmed me, it's just me sitting on a couch and all of a sudden going, oh. So yeah, this is one of those movies that you want to watch with your friends, make funny faces, crack some jokes. This isn't a so bad it's good movie. Like I said, the things that stand out that make it kind of like that, give it a little bit of charm. Let's just put it that way. Okay guys, that's all we have today for the Film Geek. Thanks again for checking me out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're just 12 away from our goal of 100 before the end of the year, so go right ahead and subscribe if you'd like to help out. If you like the video, please hit a like. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you know when I put one of these videos up. And as I always like to say, keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.